So what does Nanite mean for artists? It means freedom. It means freedom of choice in terms of the assets that you can use. Now you don't have to worry about generating normal maps or low resolution proxies. You can load in full movie quality assets straight into the engine and be able to use them in your game. So one thing that, uh, that Nanite opened up to us was the, uh, the ability to bring in you know, really high quality assets from asset libraries. Like in this case, we used a lot of Quixel assets. The Quixel Megascans is the world's largest scan library and it consists of scans from all over the planet. And being able to use them in all their high poly and high res glory in real time was absolutely fantastic. We did not have to customize any of those. Like if you kind of look behind the scenes of some of the content we have, it, it's super kid bashed. You know, there's a ton of assets just kind of all slammed together. It's literally just drag it in and it's great. Some of these assets are, we're talking tens of millions of, of triangles for an individual asset. We're talking about entire scenes made up of billions and billions of triangles. The artists brought in the assets and were able to compose the scene the way it made the most sense for them to do it. They were able to just make the art in whatever way made the most sense to them, import it and then let the engine handle the details. What are you guarding? Previously, artists would start from a really high resolution source asset and bake it down to a low poly model and uh, generate a normal map out of this. So artists don't have to do this step anymore, it's just automatically done by Nanite. And so what Nanite technology unlocks is to really liberate the artists so that they can deliver on their vision. Nanite is like magic to me. Being able to bring these highly detailed models into Unreal without compromise is just game-changing.